Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Our topic today is how to solve percentage problems. We will first review how to introduce and explain percentage problems to students, and then we will work through two of these problems. Let's jump right in. There are three simple steps to solve percentage word problems. Step number one is to identify the knowns and unknowns. Step number two is to plug those values in to the formula. And step number three is to solve that formula. All right, let's look at our sample question. A clothing store is offering a 25% discount on all last season's stock. My mom bought two dresses for $75 each for a total of $150. What will be the dollar amount of the discount? So step number one, identify the knowns and unknowns. The knowns are a 25% discount and mom spent $150. This is the unknown, the dollar amount of the discount. So that's X equals the dollar amount of our discount. So part over total is equal to percent over 100. So part is what we don't know, that's X, and the total is 150. And the percentage we do know, which is 25. So X over 150 is equal to 25 over 100. So that is 100 X is equal to 150 times 25, which is 3,750. We divide that by 100 and that becomes $37.50 is the dollar amount of the discount. Problem number one, let's put theory into practice. A store is having a sale on a bicycle that was originally priced at $250. The sale price of the bicycle is now $200. What is the percent decrease in the price of the bicycle? 16%, 20%, 25%, 30%, or 40%. Let's begin by identifying the knowns and the unknowns. We know the original price is $250 and the sales price is $200. We do not know the percentage of the discount, which is X over 100. So we need to find the part over the total. In order to find the part, we know the total is $250 and in order to find the part, we need to take away the sales price. So that is 50. So our equation becomes 50 over 250 is equal to X over 100. So 250 X is equal to 50 times 100, which is 5,000. We divide each side by 250 and we get 20. So X equals 20, 20% 20 is our discount and B is the answer. Problem number two, a car dealership is offering a 15% discount on all new cars. Mark bought a new car and received a discount of $3,000. What was the original price of the car? Step number one, identify the knowns and unknowns. So we know that the discount is 15%. So that's the 15 over 100. And we know the total number, the part, that's the discount. What we don't know is the total price. So that is our unknown. So in this case, 15 X, is equal to 3,000 times 100, which is 300,000. 
divide each side by 15, and we get 20,000, which is the original price of the car. I hope I was able to clarify any questions you may have had regarding percentage instruction so that you now have a better understanding. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.